The 2022 NFL Draft is 60 days away, so let's do a draft battle between tight ends Jalen Weidemeyer, Jeremy Ruckert, and Trey McBride. Let's get after it. Before we get into the video, if I could get you to please jet up the like button, and if you're new here and you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do want to let you know we'll be live this upcoming Wednesday night with host Will Parkinson from Turn On The Jets. He'll be joining us and we'll be discussing all things Jets offseason. The link for that stream will be in the description. As I mentioned in yesterday's free agent tight end video, the New York Jets simply have to be better in 2022 in the tight end room. There were times where it was a massive detriment to the offense, not being able to get the running game going, not being able to score in the red zone, and just not being able to sustain drives. And by adding players in free agency and in this draft class, I think that it's going to be a huge benefit to the offense and to Zach Wilson. So in this video, we're going to pit three tight ends against each other and decide a winner. In this first category, we're just going to look at their overall production in college football. And the clear runaway winner here has to be Trey McBride out of Colorado State. He had an 1,100-yard season his final year in college football. And again, really productive in the other years as well. You take a look at Jalen Weidemeyer, and he had even-keeled production throughout his college career. No dips, no valleys in his production. Very consistent producer. And then the other one is going to be Jeremy Ruckert. So... A lot of what you know dictates production is also opportunities that you get in an offense. And Jeremy Ruckert is a clear-cut example of making the most of his opportunities, but also not getting enough to really shine in the receiving game. I think that's one of the things that I've heard the most about Ruckert going into the NFL is that if he does get his opportunities, he is going to absolutely make his mark in the NFL in the receiving game. But again... Clear production winner here. I think it has to go to Trey McBride. In the route running head-to-head, -head, I have Jalen Weidemeyer edging the other two out just by a small margin. I do think that he offers the most upside at the next level, creating separation with his route running ability. Having said that, Jeremy Rucker is not a bad route runner. He's just not really going to be a separator using route running at the NFL level. He's much more of the tight end that's going to be finding the soft spots in the zone coverage and then using his size in man-to-man -man coverage to get those receptions. It's not going to come from massive separation. That's not really who he is. And then Trey McBride, I think he has a ton of potential as well as a route runner. He needs to work a little bit more on some of his fundamentals according to what I've been reading and what I've seen. But again, lots of upside with all of these guys, again, as tight ends. But Jalen Weidemeyer edges them out here. In the next category, it also feels like another clear winner here. I have Jeremy Ruckert winning. The blocking battle between these three tight ends. I think he's got the best experience. You know, he has the most experience being a blocker in the running game and making a big impact and being strong at the point of attack, using strong fundamentals and technique. Everything that I read and everything that I watch shows that he is ready to be a blocker day one in the National Football League. And then again, just ranking it, I think that McBride, you know, follows him. And Jalen Weidemeyer, it's certainly not a, you know, a devastating, like he's not going to, he can't block in the National Football League, but he has some work that he needs to do regarding getting stronger and improving that fun those fundamentals and technique. I think he can learn and I think he is a willing blocker. It's just a more or less, he's got to work on it at the next level. Drops plague the 2021 New York Jet tight ends. And if we take one of these guys in the NFL draft, I think we're going to be very, very happy with their ability to catch the football. I did give the tie win to Ruckert and McBride. I think Ruckert just shows an outstanding ability to make spectacular catches, one-handing the football in the air. He has multiple you know, examples of doing that during his college career with limited opportunities, so very strong hands. McBride has the ability to just grab the football out of the air. He is a great hands catcher, makes a lot of contested catches. So I think they're both very, very strong. The only thing I read about Weidemeyer is that he does have some concentration drops on his, uh, excuse me, on his resume. Not a weakness by any means. He can improve in that area. I give the win to the other two, though. Two of the most important elements of a tight end in this Jets offensive scheme is number one, being able to block. 
And then the second thing is being able to run after the catch with the football in your hands. And I think that Weidemeyer and McBride excel at this. They can make you miss in the open field, create yards after the catch, and really do offer upside in that department. I don't think that it's that Ruckert is terrible at this by any means. I just think that this isn't really his strength, not really part of his game. So these other two get the win. I think that all three of these tight ends offer some upside in making big plays in an offense. I think that, you know, it's not just the tight end that can take a ball, you know, 80 yards to the house. That's kind of rare. Uh, I do look at, you know, being able to catch the football in the red zone and score a touchdown as a very big play. And I think that all three do this at a pretty good level. I do give the edge to Weidemeyer and McBride here again because of their ability to run after the catch to create a little bit more separation in their route running. And again, they can go a little bit further with their speed and athleticism. But again, no knock on Ruckert. He is excellent in the red zone, and that's going to be one of his calling cards in the National Football League. In terms of their size, I give a slight edge to Jalen Weidemeyer. He's six foot five. 265 pounds, and I do think he's going to measure well at the combine. He's going to have some nice long arms to help him in the receiving game and eventually the blocking game as well. I think Ruckert is an overall prototypical size tight end. I think he offers great upside at six foot five, 250 pounds. And then McBride, he is a little bit on the shorter side at six foot three, and he is, again, plenty big enough to play tight end, over 255 pounds. I think there's no concerns with any of these players' size, but again, slight win for Jalen Weidemeyer. The winner of this draft battle is going to be the Colorado State tight end, Trey McBride. He earns 18 points compared to Jalen Weidemeyer's 17 and Jeremy Ruckert's 13 points. Please don't let the scoring fool you. I'd be thrilled with any of these three tight ends and even more that are available in the NFL draft. There are a bunch of names that I could have included in this draft battle. Guys like Jake Ferguson from Wisconsin, Charlie Kohler from Iowa State. There are a bunch of dudes that could be had in this NFL draft class that are really, really intriguing at the tight end position. Please do let me know in the comments what you think of the results. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I look forward to reading and responding to all of your comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Go Jets, and I'll see you guys next time.